are together to talk about the brushes. Um, just the basic brushes for the foundation, to know which one to have, what sort of coverage you're going to get with what kind of brushes. So I will really present you some of the brushes I own. So I hope you will understand me with my accent. I have a French accent. Ooh la la. Okay. So you have many, many products on the market with which you can apply your foundation. Let's say you have this kind of... Uh, oula, the brush is going away. It's trying to escape, are you? Little body. So you have lots of different brushes. I use this one in the back. This one is Elf Studio Powder Brush. As you can see, I am not lying, I promise. So the Elf Studio Brush, um, okay, so the Elf Studio Brush provides you a full coverage due to the flat, flatness of the fibres, as you can see. So this is very flat and this is quite long, so you can have lots of product with it and you can also buff it really well under the skin. This will provide you full coverage of your foundation. This one it's from Sigma and I have been very disappointed with this one because I was using this one before using this one. And with the e.l.f. I have a much better blending on the skin and a much better coverage of the product on my skin. It does buff it better than this one because I feel this one has shorter fibers so it doesn't blend the product as well. Then you have the flat brush. So the flat brush provides you full coverage as well but because this is flat, these fibers are really flat like this. These are um, this one is the 190 from MAC and this one is another brush from MAC. I do not have the number. Oh, yes, I do. 191. Call 911. No, 191. I said 191. Anyway, okay, so the difference with this two is that this one here, the 191, has a flat top. So this is great for doing uh, some sort of Arabic makeup I've been doing or having something a little bit more geometrical finish with this one. With this one, due to its um, roundness on the top, and it's a little bit pointy, provides you uh, to go better around the nose area and under the, um, the dark shadows, under the eyes. Uh, and you've also got some different length of the fibers. So this provides you also a good blending. This one will provide you full coverage of the product, but it doesn't blend it in the pores as well as this one. So the battle with this one, this one wins. I say that because I like good coverage, but if you do not like good coverage and full coverage, then you go for these ones. These are a good alternative for you if you want a light to medium coverage. Coverage meaning that you don't want the foundation to cover all the imperfection in your skin. It will cover um, half of it, basically. So, to apply on the face, I would probably recommend to go for the bigger one, which is the 187 from MAC. Uh, you have other variations in the market with different with the same geofibers. Sigma does one, I believe, uh, which I hated, by the way, because it was all black. Anyway, uh, so this one you have two different lengths of fibers, mm, two different lengths, like this, and you have a blend with natural and synthetic fibers. So the um, white one, if I'm not mistaken, are the synthetic and the black one are the natural, or maybe it's the other way around. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, you have two different, uh, two different fibers. This, due to the different length, provides you a really nice buffing onto the skin. This will really melt the product onto the skin. And if you do have lots of duvet on the skin, I don't know if you say that like that, duvet, um, you know, has, uh, this will blend it really well. This will provide you a light to medium coverage. You can use it with a powder, with liquid foundation. This one there, the flat one, you can use it with liquid and powder foundation. And the flat one is our best recommended for liquid foundation, I would say. Not so much for um, powder, because you're not going to use the powder with this. Um, so yeah, this is my um, sort of recap on the face brushes that you would need, or the difference between them. Um, I did a blog post if you want to have more information on the actual written details. And that's all. I will put the link in the description box down me. And if you have any questions, you can leave the comment and you can click on the thumb up. And that's all for me for today. So I hope you have enjoyed this uh, quick video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.